Hi everyone, welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. This is a platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So today we are going to talk about a new feature which has been added as a preview feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365 in 10.0.40. So we are going to talk about that and the feature name is the bank account lifecycle management. So let's start with this and see what is this feature. So this helps users to uh, get the approval on the bank account creation and modification and also allows the tracking historical changes. So just imagine a business scenario, the bank account is a very sensitive information and we are talking about the bank account of our legal entity. We are not talking about the bank account of our vendor and customer. For that, we already have for vendor bank account, uh, we already have a feature. So this is about the bank account master within the cash and bank management we are talking about. So imagine a scenario, you create a bank new bank account. Now, is there any control around that? Uh, if someone changes the main account, the bank account number or anything, uh, do we have any control? So till now it was not there. But with this new feature, it brings some more control and it helps uh, the organization to manage the changes in these bank accounts or in the creation of the bank account using the workflow approval process. How it works? So first we need to enable the feature. It's in preview still. Uh, so once it is enabled, then you have to activate the workflow. Then it set up the parameters that how you want to use this uh, workflow. Do you want the uh, changes only in the creation or the modification? So you specify all those things and then you uh, uh, get the approval or, and also the manage the changes which you have done to this. So now quickly, uh, let's go through the demo and see that uh, how this particular feature works in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Now I am into my Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. The first thing which I should do it here is that I should uh, uh, go to my uh, uh, feature management and then I should uh, enable the feature. So this is my feature management where I have this particular feature which is in preview and I can enable this feature. And if I want to read about this, I have the Microsoft Learn where it the complete details about what this feature is, what it does, everything has been given. Now, once that feature is enabled, the next thing which I can do is that I can go to the cash and bank module and under the cash and bank module, under the setup, I have the cash and bank master data change setup enabled for me. Now, before I go there, first thing which I should do is that I need to create a workflow. I should have a workflow defined for this. So that's a prerequisite. So I have created a workflow. Uh, it's a simple workflow or a one step workflow, which I have created once so uh, the workflow is submitted, it will come for the approval uh, to me. Now, once this is workflow is created, then you can go and define your configuration. And here we have defined the configurations and here you have the options that uh, if, whether you want the workflow on the changes only or you want the workflow uh, for the creation of the uh, bank account as well and you want the changes in history and then you have an option that how the behavior should be do you want to create the change proposal or allow the changes without the approval or you want to reject the changes straight away right once you have the changes for approval for the modification uh, what you also have is a list of fields which you can select over here that on which uh, changes uh, if you make any changes on these fields then system should trigger the workflow but if there is a, a update or the change and the modification on any of the field which is not enabled here, then system will not trigger the workflow. So you can select the sensitive fields. So I have selected, let's say the bank account number, this will be, let's say the main account because uh, it is very critical. Uh, it's a posting profile. So if, I, if someone is changing the main account uh, for posting the bank transactions, uh, let's say I want to have the approval for this. Now, once that is done, uh, the next thing which I can do is that let's go and create a new bank account and uh, see how it is going to enable or how it is going to trigger the change. So let's say I create a bank account called test and then I can enter 
the routing number i can enter the bank account number if you see wherever we have enabled the changes uh, the the approval it is saying that required required approval and then i can select the main account so it has been selected then i can select all other necessary details and once i save this it is getting saved and on the top you will see that a uh, new workflow option has been enabled now i can go ahead and uh, submit this particular workflow uh, for for the approval now i once i submit this uh, workflow uh, i can go and see the history of the workflow here and uh, i can see that it has been submitted but parallelly let's look at uh, that like since this has been created right now i can see that it is reflecting in my let's say the bank account list can i and if you see the change status is there so there is no changes and there is a change is pending can i select this particular bank account in my payment entry so let's go and look at this and let's go to the accounts payable and vendor payment journal and let's look at this that uh, does it allow me to select this particular bank account so if you see it doesn't allow me to select this so it will just allow me once those once those changes has been approved so without the approval it won't allow me to perform the transaction with the unapproved changes now let's look at this if it has submitted for the workflow so yes it has created should be available for me so i have the approval here i can just simply click on the approve and then approve this so once my uh, workflow has been approved i can see that that status has been changed has been approved and another thing which you can uh, observe here is that uh, on the top you have got a, a option of tracking your changes so if you click on this changes you have two options here so one is around your change proposals so once it when when whenever you are submitting your changes and then uh, it is getting approved uh, or it is in review right you can look at that what changes uh, has been proposed and then you have an option of change history so which if you click on that it gives you the complete history that what changes by when by whom who was the approver all these things are specified here so it not only helps you to control your complete bank uh, life cycle management from the creation to the modification but it also helps you to track those changes and get that audit trail uh, for your bank account information now same thing i have done for the creation you can do it for the modification as well so once you will modify it will allow you to submit to the workflow and then you can submit for the workflow get it approved and track all these changes so that's it for this video hope this is going to help you and this new feature will definitely help our customers where they can manage their bank account information in a more efficient way and uh, hopefully it will get better and uh, microsoft will bring more more enhancement around this particular area thank you for watching and see you in the next one